Today we are now going to understand the difference between conditional and unconditional probability. While we are discussing conditional probability, I want you to keep this formula in mind uh, so that along the line you bec it becomes clearer to you and also when we are going to be talking about Bayes' theorem and this is the formula we are going to actually use directly to move into Bayes' theorem. So I'm going to go ahead to write out this formula. Uh, let me minimize this. <clears throat> All right, so let me take a pen. So we are saying that conditional probability is written in this way, probability of A, uh, let's, put it, let's put it in another way. Let me take back the pen. So probability of A of B uh, given A, okay? So let me make sure I'm writing the right formula. So actually we can write it anyway, but let's write it the right way so that it will not be confusing. So we are talking about probability of A given B. Now this is a, a this is not backslash or forward slash. It's just a str a stroke, a, a line, a a an upright horizon, a horizon a vertical line. Is the same as is the same as probability of a intersection b divided by the probability of b. Okay. All right, so what does this formula mean? Let's make sure we're good. <clears throat> so what this formula mean is that now we are trying to find the conditional probability of A and we have the unconditional probability of B. Now let's go back to the medical example we are working with. So we have this table given here and we are saying that the probability that the test is positive no matter what the disease may be. So in this case, it's not conditional, no matter what the disease may be. And in this case, we are adding both the plus and negative uh, of the disease, of, of D plus and D minus. So in this case, we are talking about unconditional probability. When you have probability of a single event without reference to any other event or any other thing, it is unconditional probability. Let's go back to what we've been working with. Uh, now, we are saying that from our calculation, we can see that the unconditional probability of D plus is 0 0.316. So it means that D plus, irrespective of whether it's positive T or negative T, is unconditional probability. So from our calculation, we can see that the unconditional probability of D plus is 0 0.316. Why the probability, the conditional probability of T plus given D plus is 0 0.625, almost two times the previous. This means that given that the test is positive, make the disease twice more likely to be present. Now, again, we want to find the conditional probability of D minus given D minus. Let's apply this formula to actually solve it and in that way, it becomes a little clearer as we go. So we are trying to find the probability of D minus given T minus. In the, in the example we have, we are trying to find if somebody tests negative, what is the probability that the disease is not there? Meaning that what is the probability that the test will actually lead in the right direction. So if you apply the conditional probability formula we have, we have probability of D plus, D minus and intersection T minus divided by the unconditional probability of what? Of T minus. So each time you are finding conditional probability, you must have one unconditional probability known. 
that is the only way you can find conditional probability. All right, so now we have probability of t minus is what? Let's go to the let's go to the table. So probability of t minus unconditional probability of t minus is zero point seven zero six is zero point seven zero six and the probability of d minus intersection t minus we can get it from the table by looking at the intersection point to be 0 0.574 so at this point we can find the probability of d minus given t minus and that will give us 0 0.574 right over 0 0.706 so if I use calculator at this point so so let's try to use the calculator to solve it uh, just, let me put the calculator at this point so we have 0 0.574 divided by 0 0.706. That will give us 0 0.813. Let's take this away. So that will give us equals 0 0.813. So this means that there's 81% likelihood that the disease is not there if the test comes out negative. So the doctors will be 81% sure that the disease is not there once the, once the test comes out negative. So this is how this is conditional and unconditional probability. Again you can find the conditional the unconditional probability that the disease is there. So in this case you simply take at this value you can find the unconditional probability that the disease is not there given the number of people you have it is this value so unconditional probability is simply probability that doesn't take into consideration any event happening prior or any anything that was known prior to the time of the test okay so now we can also check the unconditional probability of d minus which is 0 0.684 from the table so in this case, we have 0 0.684. So what we are now saying is that if you have the un unconditional probabilities, you can always find the conditional probabilities. So now I'm going to give you a little assignment to do. So at this point, we found this. We also found probability of D plus given T plus. Mm -hmm. Now I want you to try to find probability of d minus given t plus and probability of d plus given t minus these are critical uh, statistics because these are probabilities of errors happening when the test yields uh, a particular result when actually it is the opposite and this brings us to false positive and false negative we are going to cover false positive and false negative in the next class. I'd like to thank you for viewing and also want to remind you to subscribe to my channel.